All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale and review of these Totino's pizza rolls. All right, normal price eleven ninety nine. It was three dollars off, so basically uh, nine dollars for this one hundred sixty rolls. There are two bags inside. Uh, okay, these are Totino's pizza rolls brand pizza snacks. Serving suggestion enlarge to show detail. Here you go, pepperoni, pepperoni seasoned pork, chicken, and beef pizza topping. Pizza in a golden crust. Keep frozen, cook thoroughly, 239.9 ounce, 2 pounds, 7.9 ounce, or 1.13 kilogram bags. Net weight, 79.8 ounces, 4 pounds, 15.8 ounces, or 2.26 kilograms. All right, we're going to read the nutritions on the other side, so we're going to skip that. Here's what the box looks like. There is a box top here. This was purchased uh, October 11th, 2023. It's good until April uh, 9th, 2024, so that makes it six months all right best if used by within six months there you go that's what that looks like here you have the instructions so you can do it in an oven and toaster oven or you can microwave or you can do it in an air fryer so we'll try different ways um, but here you go okay filling will be very hot wait until cooled enough to eat oreo stop that <laughs> For food safety and quality, follow cooking directions. Cook thoroughly uh, to internal temperature of at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep frozen until ready to cook. Refrigerate leftovers. Oreo, stop it. Okay, so here you go. Oven or toaster oven uh, method. Do not leave toaster oven unattended while cooking the product. Right, heat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me actually preheat the oven and also the air fryer. Okay, give me a second. I'll be back. All right, so now while they're heating, let's take a look at the instructions. Heat. Uh, oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Place rolls in a single layer on a baking sheet or toaster oven tray. All right, and then bake according to chart. Let stand two minutes uh, to complete cooking. Filling will be very hot. Be cautious on first bite. So here you go. There's 20 roll. If you cook 20 rolls, 10 to 12 minutes, uh, 13 to 15 minutes in a toaster oven. Um, I don't know if my oven is considered a toaster oven. It somewhat is. I don't want to cook that many rolls. I'll maybe cook five and yeah, maybe I'll cook it for about 10 minutes, all right? So since we're doing small amounts because I have a lot of reviews to go, here's the microwave instructions, all right? Place rolls in a single layer on microwave plate. Um, microwave on high according to chart. Let stand two minutes to complete cooking. Filling will be very hot, okay? So one serving is about six rolls. So I guess let's cook six of each, so. That's probably going to be a lot of calories, but we'll see. That's going to be uh, 18 rolls, okay? So we'll cook for one minute, six rolls on a plate, okay? Then you got the air fryer option. Do not leave air fryer unattended. So place up to 25 rolls in a single layer in the air fryer. Cook four minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove basket, shake well to mix rolls, and then cook an additional four minutes, so eight minutes total. All right, let's stand for two minutes to complete cooking. Filling will be very hot. So we'll try both methods, okay? So this one will take about 10 minutes. This one will take a minute. And this one will take uh, about eight minutes. All right, so here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So 26 servings per container. So one serving is six rolls. Dang, so that's going to be 630 calories that I'm going to be eating if I eat all the rolls. Total fat, 8 grams, 10%. Saturated fat, 2.5 grams, 14%. 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 2%. 370 milligrams sodium, 16%. 30 milligrams of, sorry, 30 grams of carbs, 11%. 2 grams of dietary fiber, 5%. Sugars, 2 grams. And it includes 1 gram of added sugar, 1%. 5 grams of protein, um... And then there's 30 milligrams of calcium, 2%, 2 milligrams of iron, 10%, and 160 milligrams of potassium, 4%. Ingredients are enriched flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. And then tomato puree, which is water and tomato paste. Wow, that's okay. I was like, that's a short ingredients list, but it continues over here. So water, pepperoni, seasoned pork, chicken, and beef pizza topping is made from pork, mechanically separated chicken, water, soy protein concentrate, salt, contains 2% or less uh, pepperoni, which is pork, mechanically separated chicken, beef, salt, and contains 2% or less of spices, dextrose, pork stock, lactic acid, starter culture, oleo resin of paprika, flavoring, sodium as asorbate, uh, sodium nitrite, 
BHA, BHT, citric acid. Then there are spices, dextrose, oleoresin of paprika, sodium asorbate, garlic powder, natural flavors, maltodextrin, sodium nitrite, lactic acid starter, culture, BHA, BHT, and citric acid. The imitation mozzarella cheese is made from water, vegetable oil, modified food starch, uh, rennet, casein, and contains less than 2% of citric acid, guar gum, potassium chloride, potassium sorbate as a preservative, salt, sodium citrate, sodium phosphate, titanium dioxide as an artificial color, vegetable oil contains less than 2% of modified food starch, rehydrated fat-free mozzarella cheese, which is water, skim milk, cheese cultures, salt enzymes, and then there's sugar, salt, modified whey, defatted, and, uh, defatted soy flour. What? There's fat in soy flour? Okay. Defatted soy flour, spice, citrus fiber, methyl cellulose, onion powder, potassium sorbate as a preservative, rehydrated enzyme, modified cheese, water, which is made from water, milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, and citric acid. Then there's dextrose, maltodextrin, D, uh, TBHQ as a preservative, and natural flavor. Contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients, and it's made by uh, General Mills or um, distributed by them. Okay, so the air fryer is already ready, so let's go ahead and open this. It does have like this little thing where you can punch this in and then you can reclose the box here. Um, it doesn't work too well. Uh, I would just throw away the box. There's two bags here. Okay, let's go ahead and open this all the way. Okay, so we got two separate bags. There aren't any there's no zipper seal or anything, so keep that in mind. Um, you might want to put it in a Ziploc bag or something. They do have the cooking instructions here with the oven, uh, microwave, and air fry methods. And you got the um, uh, nutrition facts and ingredients, as well as the best used by date. Um, it's not labeled for individual retail sale. There's no UPC code here. So yeah, keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna open this up. And let's start cooking. So, there's no easy way to open this as far as I know. I hope I didn't open it wrong. It doesn't look like there's an easy way to open this. Though there is like a little slit in this plastic. So, I don't know. I don't know why there's little slits here to air it out or something. This is what they look like frozen. Okay. So, let's go ahead now and put some in the air fryer. Again, I'm going to do like maybe six in each method. Or maybe four. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, in the air fryer we got four minutes, then we'll shake it up and do another four minutes. So we'll let that run. Let's go ahead and get some in the oven. All right, so here we have the oven preheated to 425 and we're just going to bake them for 10 minutes. All right, so let's go down to 10 minutes. There we go, start that and then we'll see you guys when those are ready. And then we got to microwave six of them for a minute. All right, so the four minutes completed. I'm actually just gonna flip them instead of shaking it around. Okay, so that way they'll all be cooked more evenly. Ooh, almost burned myself. All right, then we'll do another four minutes and we'll let that go. Here the oven baked ones have six minutes to go and then we're gonna start the microwave once this finishes for a minute. All right, less than four minutes to go and you can see the oven rolls are sweating All right the other ones in the air fryer are almost ready okay so less than a minute to go and that doesn't look good <laughs> no hope I don't know that seems like a pain if we're gonna have to clean that every single time we cook them in the air fryer so we'll see all right so these are just finished we're gonna let it sit. It's said to let it sit for two minutes. The one in the oven has two minutes to go. Then we're gonna start the microwave. Here you can see, about a little over two minutes to go. And these are sizzling, okay? So we'll see you guys when they're ready to go and start the microwave. All right, as you can see, less than 20 seconds to go. And these exploded too. <laughs> Does this happen to you guys? Why are all my Tostino's pizza rolls exploding? Well. We'll start the microwave in five seconds. And there you go. One minute. Let's go. Let's stop this thing. And cancel, cancel, cancel. There we go. And we'll leave this open. Let that sit. And we'll be back when the microwave is ready. All right. As you can see, microwave one is almost done. Are these going to be exploded as well? Should I have put a cover over it? 
it didn't say to at least I don't remember seeing anything about covering them hopefully they don't explode and blow up all over the microwave um, but there we go and pff, exploded and some of it did end up in the microwave so I'm gonna have to clean that up all right while I'm cleaning that up I guess these will be cooling down I'm gonna move them all to one side of the plate so I can get the air fried and other ones here so this is the microwave. I'm gonna let these cool down. Let me clean the microwave real quick, then we'll get out the other ones. All right, so there's the microwave ones. Let's go ahead and move on over to the air fryer. Give me a second. Okay, let's grab the ones out of the air fryer. And we did lose some sauce in here. So here are the six air fried ones. We'll just have them all in the center. Now let's go and grab the baked ones. Okay, here are the oven baked ones. I'm gonna have to pull this out. Whew. Gotta go quick so I don't burn myself. And we'll put that in this row here. Okay, it should be obvious which ones are microwaved. And it looks like we are gonna have to do a bit of cleaning for this as well. So all methods seem to cause a mess. There's that. All right, let's go ahead and move on over our reviewing area all right so the air fried ones had the longest to set so let's go ahead and try one from the middle here hopefully it's not gonna burn me usually people like to kind of bite it a little bit or bite a corner like this so that it can air out but it seems like it already cooled down enough so let's eat it mm-hmm hmm, hmm. Pretty tasty. Let's try the oven ones. You can see the oven one has that goop that came out. You can see the steam coming out of this. Probably let that set for a while. I'm gonna tell you right now, the crunch from the air fryer is much more satisfying. And here's the microwaved one. Ow! <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say no to the microwave version, unless you just like soft, chewy like that. Let's go ahead and try this one again. Hmm. Okay. Definitely, if you have an air fryer, use it. I'm going to do what a lot of people said basically bite the corner off of each one and then go back because the inside is burning hot so we'll just bite them open like that so they can ventilate <laughs> also with this method people won't steal your pizza rolls <laughs> okay Yeah, definitely want to air fry it. Much better. They're much better air fried. This has, um... What's that apple pastry? This has a somewhat of, like, um... McDonald's apple pie crust texture, but a little bit more chewy. A bit more, quite a bit more chewy. Mm hmm. All right, and then the mic waved. Yeah, the mic waved ones are just sad. Don't do it that way. That's a lot of pizza rolls. Okay. I think about five minutes isn't enough, is enough to let them cool because when I bit the corners off, these weren't steaming hot anymore. Especially if you have them spread out on a plate like this. Okay. 
but if you're making a whole bunch to kind of make a giant bowl and stuff to share with friends or family, then uh, you might want to let it sit longer or do this ventilation trick and have your own bowl or plate. Okay? Okay. Microwave version has like a tough um, pot sticker wrap texture. Mm-hmm. Baked one. Little bit of a crunch. Again, it reminds me of... I haven't had one of those McDonald's apple pies in a long time, but I think it kind of reminds me of that. And then the air fried one. Mm-hmm. Much crispier. Yeah, so these are pretty tasty. It's almost like a mini, mini pepperoni hot pocket. Um, it doesn't have as much of the pepperoni flavor, but um, yeah, these are pretty good. Nice, um, quick snack that you can just heat up. Um, but they do explode, at least they did in my air fryer, so keep that in mind. Might be kind of a messy cleanup to do after. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Definitely pick these up if you like pizza roll, pizza bagel kind of stuff. All right? Bye.